Hello everyone, this is Anu, and in this video I'll be introduced the Nubox, which is an open source project. And Nubox is a Chrome extension. It's a specifically it's a Chrome extension manager. So once you open it, you can see like how many apps you have, how many extensions and themes. And also there's something called auto state rule. We'll talk about that later. So at the beginning, like whenever you enter a website, there will be a recommendation list for that specific website. And the recommendation list is coming from the Nubox users, so like someone, someone like think some a specific extension is good for this website, so they'll recommend it. For example, if you go to YouTube, then you'll see like there's a bunch of extension made specifically for YouTube, like this one, and so like you can upvote it or downvote them, or like um, tag them if they're useful or like they're not or add, they're as spam. If you're trying to recommend it recommend an extension, you can click this icon and select the extension you want to recommend. And that's basically it for the overview. Then let's go to manage. For manage, like, um, there's list view and like the uh, card view. So like, you can enable all the extensions or disable them or undo what you did before. And also, you can just click the specific one to like enable them or uninstall them or configure them. And in here, you can use filter to see like which type of extension or apps you want to see. Like in here, you can see there's one app, tons of extension, zero theme. And you can um, enter some number like new, then you can see the search result. And that's basically for manage. The auto state is the most important feature for Nubus. Basically, it's something like whenever you enter some website, there might be an extension made specifically for that website. For example, like slither.io. If you go to that website, you'll see like Nubus will telling you like, since you go to this website, by the rule you configured, the slither.io, this extension will be enabled, which is here. So like once you close the slither.io, you'll see the extension is gone. And the auto state rule tell, will tell you like it's gone. And yeah, so the way you do this is, um, for example, you go to the website you want to visit, and there might be some extension made specifically for that website. So what you did is just copy it and go to new bus and auto state. Then let's remove this one first and paste it here, and select only enable will matched. So only enable will matched means like whenever you go to this website, that specific extension will be enabled. So in this this time, like these two extensions will be enabled, or this extension will be enabled. Otherwise, when as soon as you close this um, website, the extension will be disabled. And the matching is using regular expression. So like if you're familiar with it, you can use this one. And if you're trying to match like several websites, you can go a.com and the, the symbol b.com, this one c.com. And let's try here. So it doesn't matter whether you enter it or not, but you might want to do it so like it will only match for this specific URL. And arrow. So whenever you like open the slither dial, this, this extension will be enabled. And when uh, let's refresh it, so you can see it's taking effects. And as soon as close, as you close it, the extension is gone. And the reason we're doing this is sometimes there are, there are many extensions like Reddit. This is RES. They're made specifically for a certain websites. So there's no reason for you to like enable them when you're not using that specific website. So the easiest way is using an enable only. So the Nubus will handle the handle these for you. And yeah, that's basically it for auto state. In history, you can see actually in manage. Let's go back to manage. Whenever you click like a mm, temper monkey, you can see the rating from the Google Store and the state, and you can see whether you ever is it useful or not. Let's say it's useful and working. And when did you install it? When did you update it? Is it enabled? And some of these are like for few people who actually need it. So you might not, you don't need to like 
um, visit all of these, but some of them might be useful. So for example, you can download the CRX if you're interested. Or you can open the manifest.json so you can see search, like certain stuff. And that's basically it. So if you go to the history, you can see when did you enable something or you, when did you remove something. And if you click something you removed, you can actually install it back. And da, da, da. sometimes I think the most useful feature for this for the history is um sometimes some apps might be updated. So let's go to the installed. You might see some updating. So like you can see here, one week ago um new bus update from zero one one oh seven to one oh six from one oh six to one oh seven. And let's see. Yeah, that's the history. So you can see when did that extension get updated? And so like if up after several updates, the extension becomes spammy or something, you can tell the developer like, okay, after this version, something is wrong, please fix it. And yeah, that's basically it for new boss. So if you're interested, if you want to promote it, you can go here and go all the way down to share it to the social media or here's some uh, software and icons I used. And for op in the options, you can import or export your settings. And join community is something I highly recommend. If you disable it, I mean, then I have n I no longer know that like, there's some users using my my software. So like, I might slow down the development development, or I may not. I mean, yeah, just please join community if you are. Also, if you turn off the community, you cannot see like whoever the recommendation list. So join community, and there's show ads. Actually, you can. Since the new boss is not complete, there's no such thing as show ads. So you can you can select it, but you can never make it select select it. And here sometimes you might want to like auto state will whenever you do something, auto state will tell you like okay something is enabled. This might be annoying, so actually you might want to close it. By default it's closed, I think. And you can clear the clear the history. And here the default page is by default the first um, web page you will visit is overview, but in here you can select to make it to the management if you're interested in that. So later on, whenever you open it, by default it will go to the management, and yeah, you can change the view. That's basically it for new bus. Thanks for watching. Bye.